reason, the NHL won't allow Bobby Hull and company to play for Canada. It isn't just spite. It's a narrow legalistic fear that if the NHL owners condone the WHA defectors playing for Canada, they'll be weakening their court cases against the Hulls, the Sandersons, the Cheevers, and the Trombleys for skipping out. It's obvious now that the NHL plans to fight the WHA, not just with more money for its players' salaries, but with more money for high-priced legal help. And something else was cleared up, too. And that is simply that despite Hull, most everyone at Hockey Canada is feeling grateful to the NHL, grateful for allowing Canada the free use of what was described as 30 to $40 million worth of assets. And for assets, read players. The, the NHL's position is that all these players are under contract until September 30th. And if they have now gone to the World Hockey Association and purported to sign contracts there in breach of that contract, right. so to allow them then to come to play for Team Canada or anybody else under the might, contract, under the contract right. if you understand what we're getting to, would be uh, would be jeopardizing their position. It would be very difficult for the NHL owners to, to say, okay, uh, you can play, and next Friday issue writs against the five fellows, and we wind up without the five and without another 20. That's what my concern was. My concern was getting a team available that could play the Russians and beat the Russians. And I think we've got that team. We haven't helped, haven't helped with Harrison and John and he, Ferguson. We'll blame them. Somebody raised the question of the specter of American owners dictating to Canadians. I think we should make the point that the decisions that were made today were made by a steering committee made up of Canadians, with the exception of Mr. Wirtz, and by a board of directors of Hockey Canada made up of 16 people, none of whom are Americans. Uh, so that the decision today is a Canadian decision. And while it's obviously true that American owners uh, have had an influence in it, uh, there were other options open to the board of directors today, and they refused not to select those other options. So that the decision to play uh, with the status quo, with the situation that now exists, is one made for Canadians by Canadians.